Today we are playing Every Dad's Ultimate Fantasy Game, a game where you cut grass. Welcome to the Family Review Show. Today we're playing Grass Reaper. Oh yeah, let's go! I love it. Today we are playing Every Dad's Ultimate Fantasy Game, a game where you cut grass. Oh yeah, I am all about this life. So what you're doing is you are starting your own grass cutting empire. Something that, I, I don't know, is this something that, like, just concept wise, Luke, what's your thought about cutting grass? Yummy. Not at all what I would have ever thought a response for cutting grass would be. But his response is yummy. Um, so you have your tractor. You are cutting some grass. You can only fill it up so much. You're going to sell it on one end, and then you're going to get upgrades on the other end. A very like, like. Uh, tycoon-type game. Boy. And what were the things? I missed it, Luke. Next time you go into the shop, just slow down a little bit so I can see the different things that you are actually selling. Um, and it'll tell you on the left that meter right here is showing you uh, how, like, your capacity. So he's at, like, 50, 70, 80, 100, and now he's overloaded. You can't go any more beyond that. You got to sell before you can upgrade. So you like these kinds of games, yes? yes. All right, so you can do capacity, blade length, and what's the bottom one? Speed. All of those are going to help you cut more grass faster and continue to upgrade. Why it is looks the like grass glowing? Um... That is some nice pristine grass. I'm just going to say, as a dad, I'm just going to admire whoever uh, lawn that is. That is looking good. Man, I wish my grass looked like that. Would you cut my grass if it looked like that? I'd cut your grass if you were paying me $200. Okay, fair enough. If I paid him $200, he's going to cut my grass for Literally, me. look. So it, one load, it's $200. Yeah, that's not even the full grass. So... Uh, let's see, blade length and speed, I think, would be also important. But you got a lot to consider when you are strategizing how to quicker uh, build your empire. How are the uh, the control systems, Luke? Easy? They're like, simplistic. Oh, they're a little simplistic. So your job as a Jiminy is to cut the lawn of other Jiminy's in this simplistic game. He's selling it. He's got 500. I think you need 1,000 for your next upgrade. So it's it's good to keep that in mind. I'm imagining as you go on, the uh, land is going to be more expansive. You're going to have even greater uh, things. And I'm so, pretty sure there will be more here because there's a lot of space here. Oh, that's true. So maybe once you do this, it just kind of continues to build around you. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. Okay. I was thinking we go to a new place. I like your idea. I think that makes more sense. We'll see. I think we might it might do both. But we're going to find out. So he's still selling. I, after this next one, he'll be able to upgrade. Man, this makes me miss that smell of fresh grass. You know what I'm talking about? In summertime, yeah. there's a certain smell when the lawn is freshly cut. It is nice. And this game will help you kind of feel that, that nice, relaxing, summer's uh, eve kind of thing. What would you just upgrade? Uh, blade length. All right, so his blade length is increased. And you can see he's cutting pretty efficiently. Again, we don't know when the land expands. Maybe once you've cut it all. That's what it's looking like. It doesn't look like there's anywhere else to go to expand it. So he's looking for that 100% cut. And then he's going to fill everything up. Yeah, so when I was growing up, my dad would have me use our riding lawnmower. And he would get out there. Man, if I missed one little strip, he would not be happy. Maybe go back out and fix it. Luke's kind of getting that right now. You saw he missed a couple blades going back and getting them. I love this. Let me just tell you something. If you guys do your grass in those nice, like, uh, stripes, oh, there's nothing that looks better in a yard. Am I right? How do how do they even do that? Uh, well, it's just the way you cut it. So it's just the way you cut it. it for you, it's just happening automatically underneath the grass. But All right, so you're going to be due for another upgrade soon. I don't know if you're... It looks like you'll have to come back out to do one more one more round of cutting. Oh, yeah. Go get it, Luke. Here we go. Let's see what happens when he cuts 100% oh. of the grass. It's telling us something's about to happen. 
What is it going to be? Salsa and... Whoa. Oh, this grass is wheat. We got wheat now. Oh, yeah. This is almost like some farmer tycoons I, type stuff here. I actually here. like... I, I like the look of this better. You do? You like the wheat better? And also better the feel. It just feels right. Uh, when you say that, what do you mean? Just more satisfying? Yes. All right. So Luke's saying this is kind of like that that certain games have a satisfying feel. That's what you're getting here uh, with the Grass Reaper is you're getting that oh, more. Oh, wait. I think we're getting more money here. Let's see. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, you're getting uh, a, a nice upgrade there. I think you can probably upgrade some of your stuff after this. Uh, so you're getting that feel. It's very satisfying. And then just, you know, the accomplishment that you feel when you cut the grass. You're getting that virtually. I like it. I like it a lot. I like this kind of game. Let's see. What's he going to upgrade next? Uh, blade length or speed? He is going with the blade length. All right. No. What'd you go with? The top two. Oh. So he did capacity and blade length. I don't know what I did, actually. Okay, he doesn't know. He's just pressing random things. Try to be strategic about it, though, right? Like, you want to be strategic and cut as efficiently as you can. Uh, by the way, look, this is a great time to remind everybody. If you haven't already, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, now it's time to hit the subscribe button. Turn the notification on so you never miss more videos. And uh, for those of you who did just subscribe, welcome, welcome to, to the family. family. Thank you so much for subscribing. I almost missed it. I almost missed my cue there. I almost missed it. Um, so, here's the thing. Cutting the grass, upgrading your mower. These are just part of what you're doing in this game. You are also, nope, that's it. You're just cutting the grass and upgrading your mower. I and like selling. it though. And selling. So cut the grass, sell the stuff, upgrade your lawnmower, go back, cut more efficiently, Do it again. sell the stuff, upgrade. Yeah, it's a cycle here. You're just in this cycle of relaxing, cutting the grass, very casual type game here. You don't have to worry about dying or anything like that. Uh, there's no enemy. The only enemy is just in your head. You know, the only enemy oh, is tell any me that wasn't you're perfect. doing. That is the perfect, the per look at the perfect uh, cut there. That was like perfect row. Let's see, can he do it again? Can he get the perfect row here? Can he get the perfect row? Is he gonna get it? It's filling up. No, no. I don't know how that, that worked that time, but it was not perfect. Wow, Luke, I got to tell you, man, you are really doing well. Besides that one blade you missed at the top, you are cutting so good. All right, any bets on what the next world is going to be? Are we going to get wheat, grass, corn. or something different? Corn. All right, Luke's guess is Just corn. An idea. Quickly in the comments, let us know what you think oh. it's going to be before we find out. Let us know what you think. Pause the video. Tell us what's your prediction here. What is going to be the next world? We're going to find out what's what? next. What is this? Some kind of red grass. I don't know if this is a real thing or not. I think I... Whoa, the blade length is definitely bigger. So who knows what this is, if it's real or if it's not real. Uh, what'd you just upgrade? Blade length? Whoa. So he's going with the blade length. And, oh, yeah. just Oh, it's so perfect. It's beautiful. It looks so nice. I want some of that red wheat, hay, grass stuff in my yard. That'd be so cool. I like that. I don't know if this is a real thing or not, but if it is, I want it. I think Luke just likes uh, controlling the vehicle, doing his little, like, K-turn kinds of things. K-turn? Yeah, K-turn is like when you uh, 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 you turn around. Instead of just doing a U-turn. All right, so Luke, what are we doing here, bud? What are you thinking about this game? Uh, I like it. You like it? Now, I know you're a, a, like a, a very holistic game where you play all types of games. Uh, how do you feel about these kinds of more casual, calmer games? I mean, they're bad, but I prefer action. So you like the action, but you also like these tycoon ones. So I like something with a little more action, but I also can appreciate being able to just kind of play in a few, you know, you got a few minutes, a little spare time, uh, you don't feel like getting all crazy, pop the game in, you know, like help you relax, unwind. Look, listen, some people play like fidget things with their hands to calm down. Some people play games like this, right? Like, can you see this is a nice calming thing? Oh, and there's a little vibration when you cut the ground. Oh, there is? Let me get a feel. Let me get a feel. Let's see this. Oh, yeah! That, it's like, it's like a, um, 
I don't know, a physical ASMR sort of thing, if you will. Like, it's relaxing, and you're also getting that, like... You can upgrade. You're getting that physical stimulation as well. Like, you feel it. Oh, that does feel good. I get it. I get the satisfying part. That feels good, Luke. I like that. All right, let's go upgrade. What are we going to upgrade? The speed? Capacity? Um, speed. Oh, yeah. So, we just upgraded the blade speed. Oh, it feels so good. It just feels so good, like, to see it and to oh, feel that, it. that was almost a perfect game. Almost. I'm going to give it back, but I love that. So this game, it's going to, like, it's going to satisfy all different parts of your body. It's going to, like, your mind, your, like, fingers, your uh, emotions. Like, this does a lot, and it seems like such a simple game, but it definitely has uh, a very unique feel to it. I can't think of anything that I would even compare it to. I would say the, the tycoon gameplay type style is very similar to like the child care master, uh, moon tycoon, that kind of fashion universe. But the feel is very different. All right, he's gonna fill it all up here. Can he get it all this one last shot? I don't know. It yeah. looks like it, yes. All right, what's our next level? What's the next level gonna be? What are we getting next? I can't wait to find out. Let's see. What is it going to be, Luke? Hit that next button. Whoa. We got some pink grass. Now, I know this can't be real. I know this can't be a real thing, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Right? Pink grass? I'm pretty sure I it don't is. know. I don't know. I think I saw it once. Let me know in the comments if you think pink grass is a thing. While Luke's playing, I'm going to look this up quick. I'm going to Google this. Good old Google. Pink grass. Let's see. Is it real? Uh, it is. Oh, interesting. So there are fields. It's not quite grass, but there are. Yeah, there's like it's like a pinkish looking grass. I think I saw it in a Ripley's. OK, so Luke's right. There is pink grass. Not quite as deep and vibrant as that, but it's more of a dull purple. But our dull oh, that pink, was but such a, so close. <gasps> nice. All right. So it's overloaded. I love this game, Luke. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me just give, I get one more run. I just want to like feel. Oh, you get a lot more money now, too. Let me just get one more run. I just want to feel it. Just one more, one more, one more. Oh, I can... oh yeah, let's go! I love it. Beep. All right. All right, Luke, let's head back to the studio and wrap this one up, kid. All right, Luke, so what do you think of Grass Reaper? Because I got to tell you, I love that in this game, not only do you get to feel the vibrations of the cutting the grass, you get to sell that grass. You get to take that money, upgrade your lawnmower, do it all over again, over and over and over, and cut the grass, make the money, upgrade, 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 cut the grass, make the money, upgrade. Yeah. How'd you feel about it? Is there is there such thing as orange grass? Because well, we're curious what, how the game continues to progress after this level. Uh, but yeah, we definitely get some bright colored grass. I'm guessing get next some, like, be pink. ASMR kinds of stuff. I don't know. I know that's the right word. Uh, there's got to be a name for this kind of game. I don't know what it is besides oddly satisfying. So, Han, you were wrong. Pink grass is a thing. It is a thing. I, I, I was wrong. Yes. Uh, anything else you want to say about Grass Reaper? Download it now. Check it out. It's available for iOS and Android. Uh, and if you haven't already, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, now is the time. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification on so you never miss one of the videos. And as always, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.